Hi there. Welcome back. And we're talking about WWE and we're talking about how Bobby Lashley with the Street Profits yeah, uh, came into the ring. With the Judgment Day. I think this is very very interesting. Um, this, this could be a possible um, good feud here between the Judgment Day and the Street, Street, Street Profits and Bobby Lashley. Um, I mean, because uh, they would praise the Finn Balor just won the title so they're, they're fresh on, on their title reign yeah and of course every time they do win whoever wins titles there's always somebody in the locker room wants to step up and take the titles away now we've been saying that the street profits should be the tag I mean, the tag team champions by now already yeah i think they're one year overdue already so i'm i'm happy with this i'm happy that bobby lashley is taking the lead on this and confronting the judgment day yeah, I mean, like this could be a possible good feud here, because um, I this could be a good back and forth, a good feuding for the next few months. Um, I do have hopes for this storyline to be a, be a good storyline and feud. Um, yeah, I mean, it's exactly why they came out for it. This is yeah. the the new segment now. Uh, again, uh, the uh, who was it? The Bloodline had these titles for so long. Yeah, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens had these tag titles for a little while. Yeah, yeah, and now the Judgment Day. But the thing is, why do they both? Why why do they have both? Yeah, both titles. The, yeah, like the, the why haven't they split this up by now? Yeah, I mean it's just very weird how they are doing these like unification of titles. It's terrible. I mean, I get it at first, you know, with the Bloodline. Okay, all right, they got it. But the Bloodline broken up, and I know they were trying to do all these like we want to last a, a, the record. Yeah. Break the record for Roman Reigns, but it's over. I mean, Roman Reigns still has the the record. You know, Bloodlines breaking up right now. So, and and the tag team titles already went through a different set of hands. Now they're at the Judgment Day, but can Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, the Judgment Day, Finn Balor and Damian Priest say that they went to battle from from both shows and got the belt from both of them? They only got it from one, the Bloodline. Which was the Usos went to both shows. Yeah, they won both of the belts. Yeah, but um, but I'm glad it's away from the bloodline, the storyline. Which again, the it's Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens is part of that, and now they're moving away. So now we got the uh, Judgment Day and Street Profits coming in play now. Yeah, this is a good one here. But uh, next we have uh, Jimmy Uso with this whole backstage thing with Paul Heyman, because that was very questionable because it wasn't like J- jimmy osu wa- wanted out of the bloodline or he he is out of the bloodline yeah isn't that the way the bloodline works and paul Heyman? yeah they never give you a clear answer we're well, not to us but i'm talking about to jimmy osu and jay Uso. and you know sokoa never says anything anyway <laughs> but at the same time that's how paul Heyman works and that's how the bloodline works and that's why jimmy Uso and jay Uso were getting out of that so now Jimmy's putting himself back in the same situation he was in before. Yeah, I mean, um, and Corey's right now, Jay, um, he's all by himself, you know. Uh, he's he's finally making an a official solo career, uh, what Jay's doing. And Jimmy is trying to get back in this whole bloodline uh, situation thing. So, I mean, they, they both have their separate ways here. Yeah, and, and Jimmy, again, is going back to... What they call it, insanity, going back to trying to do the, doing the same thing over and over to try to get a different result. But with Roman Reigns, you're not. And it's kind of like one of the commentators were saying, well, didn't Jimmy Uso kick Roman Reigns in the face? Yeah, I heard that too. And I'm glad they said that because that's why I'm weird. Like, like, Jimmy was the one who kicked Roman Reigns in the face. Yeah. And, and the reason was is because Roman Reigns didn't really care about the Usos anymore, you know, ever since they lost their, their, their titles. Yeah, you know, after they lost the titles, they just he did throw them to the side like you ain't nothing. Then Sola Sokoa came up, and now he's like the prize boy, even though he keeps losing uh, Sola Sokoa on the side, you know. Uh, but then with Jay Uso, right? Jay Uso went to Raw, and and uh, the only one who confronted him was Sammy, right? Well, not confronted, but I think it, I think it was like, oh, well, Sammy, and then Drew has a little problem with him right now. Well, actually, everyone does. Well, I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is that. Besides Cody Rhodes, who brought him over, and Sami Zayn, they're the only two that welcomed him. Yeah. But again, being part of the bloodline, 
how many times did Jay and Jay Uso cost some of these wrestlers the title? Yeah, and from, their matches. Yeah, yeah, from winning, like say uh, Drew McIntyre. I, I'm not sure which one it was, one of the Usos, if they got in the way from letting Drew McIntyre win his title. Yeah, because, I mean, it's both a tag team matches and, and single matches that they cost everybody. Yeah, so, I mean, there's a lot of hate there, and they're going to be like, want to get some revenge on this guy. But at the same time, isn't that what all wrestlers do? Yeah. They do this day in, Whether day you're out. a face or a heel, they all do it. <laughs> yeah, so um, I guess they're just trying to do a storyline with this, which I get, but... We'll see if it works. Now, we, we, we've been seeing this thing how a wrestler is going to be traded to SmackDown. And they still haven't revealed it yet on this past SmackDown. So it's a very good mystery what, what's going to happen here. Like, who's to be it? Because, I mean, some of them already go over to SmackDown. Like, Hood Rhodes goes to SmackDown every now and then. Um, I think he's the only one, actually. Uh, the rest, I think they, they all stay on the roster. But, I mean, it's a good shakeup here. Well, yeah, we'll see that because, I mean, a lot of times they go to different sh- uh, shows is to for the city they're going into. Yeah. And the wrestlers are probably about known in that area. But the one thing I want to see happening is I know uh, Bianca Belair is on a leave now. I think she's getting some rest now or something. Uh, so she's on the back burner right now, taking some time off. So now is um, this thing with Asuka now again. But... Again, this is what we talked about before. They're going through the same scenarios all over again. Yeah. So it's going to be Asuka and Eosky. Probably, yeah. So it's going to be back and forth with that. And, of course, uh, Bailey's going to be in the mix, too. And Coda's to be coming back soon. I'm not sure when she's supposed to be. Yeah, because uh, she's still. I know she's back, but she's not wrestling yet. Yeah. She's still uncleared. Uh, but so uh, she's just kind of in, like the background of the Dallas girl. Yeah. And I, I saw. Charlotte Fair come out with uh, what did she cut a quick she cut her hair recently? Uh, EOS guy. I mean, I don't know. It was uh, Sachi. Sachi. Okay, um, that was a little weird mix up. Um, I'm I was thinking about when I was watching her trying to wrestle wrestle because I know she cut her hair. She changed her image to real, right? Yeah. I don't know. Um, if you look at Charlotte Flair, and if you take her, all right, and Bianca Belair, and uh, uh, Becky Lynch, they didn't have these weird storylines behind them. No. They were just wrestlers. They came out, they did their thing, you know. Of course, Becky Lynch is the man, like, okay, I'm nobody could beat me. And, of course, you know, she gets beaten several times. But <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, I, I think she's going the wrong way about it, you know. And I, I think she shouldn't have cut her hair either because now she looks smaller now. Yeah, her yeah, her body does look kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, it was for a good cause. So I think it was for her sister who was going through cancer. I think. Mm-hmm. But I mean, uh, but the way she came back, I don't know, because I don't know. Um, I I think to me is if you're just be yourself, unless this is herself and good for her, then we'll see some good, hopefully good things come out of this. True. Um, the next week we have John Cena appearing again, uh, on the Grayson Waller effect this time. So it's very really weird how how they're doing this. Because I think John Cena was supposed to be doing all these matches, but he hasn't done one match lately. Well, he did, I think, one in India with that. Yeah. See what's right. Like, it's really cool. Yeah, they probably paid him a lot of money for that one. Yeah, but like, we still haven't seen like on like over here in the, in the main roster matches anything yet. So over the next few weeks, we can see uh, for our first match here. Yeah, and it looks like they're just trying to put more on Grayson Waller right now because they're putting him on the show with him, right? Yeah, trying to push him his name a little bit. Yeah, so we'll see how it works or not. But all right, I think that's it for our podcast here today. Make sure to subscribe and like our video. Yeah. Peace.